Welcome back to the channel. You know what it is, B.O.B., none but the best of the best, baby. If you guys are interested in money, business, and credit, you guys are in the right place. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Now, this is a, another video in our Bank of America series. So i got many more videos coming out in this series, but today we're gonna talk about five things, plus I got something at the end as a bonus for you guys, of things that you should know before you apply for Bank of America credit cards. So we're gonna talk about that. Let's get it, baby. All right, so you guys are interested in Bank of America credit cards, maybe for your business, because that's what this channel is about, but even for personal. You know you have to have both things to really get that credit fusion going, right? To really give you the maximum opportunity for funding for your business and to help your business grow, to get assets using credit. That's what we're about here on this channel, all right? So we did discuss already a few of my favorite Bank of America business credit cards, and I'll leave that link in the description and in the, in the video here, okay? Check that out. But this is another video in our Bank of America series where we're gonna talk about a few things that you should know that you might not have known before you apply for Bank of America credit cards, all right? So first and foremost, what about approvals, right? So number one, they will not approve you if you've had too many credit cards over the last few months, and that includes with any bank, okay? So it's not just if you've had Bank of America credit cards, but if you've had any, if you've had too many credit cards over the last 12 months with any bank, you could get denied. Now, number two, how does that break down? Well, what you guys might not have known is that if you have a banking relationship with Bank of America, you're able to get more cards over a 12 month period. So as the rule is right now, if you have a banking relationship with Bank of America, you're able to get six new cards with them within the 12 month period. Now, if you do not have a relationship with Bank of America, you're only able to get two new cards over a 12 month period with them. So it's a big difference. If you've got a relationship, it's really, uh, beneficial. Now, also, if you have higher deposits in that banking account, in that checking account, in your business account, then you're able to get even higher points on the credit cards. Once again, check out my Bank of America credit cards video about my three favorite business credit cards. All right. So moving on. Number three, Bank of America only does a soft pull for credit limit increases. So this is very, very important. If you've already got a relationship, you've already got a business credit card or personal credit card with them, and you're thinking about raising your credit limit, well, you don't have to worry about a hard pull that'll affect your credit, it'll show as a hard inquiry on your personal credit report. So they only do a soft pull when you're applying for a credit limit increase. Very important to know. All right, number four. So. If you're applying for a new card and maybe you've got some blemishes on your personal credit and so you've locked or frozen a couple of bureaus. Well, if you've locked or frozen a couple of bureaus, then Bank of America may only check the bureau that is unlocked or unfrozen because they won't ask you for a pin to unfreeze it normally. OK, now this very once again, number one, not financial advice. None of this is guaranteed. I'm doing my own research for you guys to help you guys. Now things do vary, okay, on a case to case by case basis, but I think this is some good general guidelines for you guys to keep in mind before you're applying for cards. So uh, if you've got some bureaus frozen, if you've got lower score on a certain bureau and higher on the other, it might be a, a, a good option for you to freeze the ones that are the lower score and have them only be able to pull from the ones that you want them to pull from. So that's very, very powerful. Number five, you know what I love is business, business credit cards. 
business lines of credit, everything business. Now, if you guys are interested in building your business credit, check out all the links in the description below. I've got the hottest reporting net 30 vendor accounts to help you get your business credit established fast. Check them out. They're all in the link in the description below. Okay. So having to do with business credit cards, the most important thing and what I love about Bank of America is that they don't report business credit cards to your personal credit report. What does that mean? Well, that means that if you have some 0% interest offers with these business credit cards, if you have higher utilization on these business credit cards, they won't get reported to your personal credit report, meaning they won't affect your debt to income ratio. OK, so if you're if you want to do other things in your personal side, you're still able to do it with having maybe higher utilization on the business credit cards because they won't show up on the personal credit report. So if you're fine refinancing a house, if you want to get a car in your personal name, whatever you want to do in, especially if you want to apply for other business credit cards, well, they won't see that utilization on the personal side. So it's super, super helpful, super powerful when we're talking about building business credit to gain these assets, to gain the funding and the financing we need to grow your business. Now, I told you guys, I've got a bonus for you guys. Now, say you applied and say you got denied. Is that it? Are you just going to sit back on the couch and cry? No, we're not going to just cry. Okay. We are going to call the reconsideration line. Okay. So the reconsideration department with Bank of America. A lot of people don't know that if you have been denied, you're able to call them sometimes. And a lot of times by just answering a few questions, a few basic questions, you could turn that denial into an approval. OK, so it's very important that you guys don't just give up if you've been denied. Now, also, if you have been denied, sometimes it'll only count against you as a soft pull on your personal. So those are all things that I think are very, very valuable and you should call the reconsideration line if you have been denied for a bank of america credit card at least the worst case scenario is even if you have denied you got denied it'll only count as a soft pull not a hard pull but it, like i said in many cases you may turn that denial into an approval by just answering a few basic questions so if you guys found this video helpful please hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, share the video. I've got more videos coming out about Bank of America as well as many, many other banks. I'm gonna do a series on every single bank. If you have some questions or if you want me to do a video on a particular bank or a particular lending product or a credit card product, make sure you guys do comment in uh, the video, okay? Because I do answer all of the comments that you guys make. If you have any questions, please do comment. And also don't forget, check out all of the links that I have in the description of the video. Very good information, very good resources for you guys to help build your business credit, to help register your business and all kinds of other stuff. I will also continue to add to that list to these resources, all right? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Until then, peace and love, baby.